Oh my god, I'm nervous. Orville, it's Shania. I miss you. I had such a great time making the video. I'm just so happy and proud of you. Love you. Who doesn't want to get a message like that from Shania Twain, you know? <laughs> Hi, I'm Orville Peck. And I'm Shania Twain. You're watching the video for our song, Legends Never Die. There she is on the motorcycle. <laughs> so this video is directed by Cameron Duddy from Midland, a uh, pal of mine. And uh, you know, when we were first discussing what we wanted to do with the music video, I, I said, I was like, Shania has to be on a motorcycle no matter what happens. I want to see Shania Twain pull up on a motorcycle. And I think it's pretty epic. Orville reached out and just, you know, to ask if I would um, sing on the record, sing on this song, Legends Never Die. So I got the demo. It was head turning. It was, it's like, I have never heard a voice quite so rich and, and beautiful. It made me think of um, Elvis Presley singing country music. I was really just impressed with his voice. I think we were at uh, we were at an award show, but it was which one was it again? It was the Grammys. I was sitting at the Grammys earlier this year, and uh, I heard someone calling my name like during the commercial break, and Shania Twain was like bounding down the aisle. Gave him a big hug and said, "I'm Shania." Uh, me and pretty much everyone around me were like <laughs> shocked. <laughs> and that sealed it. That was it. He was very sweet. A couple months later, I was at her ranch in Las Vegas, and we were riding horses together and eating burritos and <laughs> and working on Legends Never Die. And that was the last day I, before everything went into quarantine. So Shania was technically the last person I saw before quarantine, which is pretty good. Yeah, when you keep that company. We were talking about the outfits that I was like, what we were going to wear. And like, I kind of told her what I was going to wear. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm doing like a kind of like a more of a muted look for me, but I'm gonna have like these super sparkly pants and these chaps, and I'm gonna have like some sparkle in my in my mask. And and she was like, well, what do you guys think about me wearing leopard print? And obviously, you know, when Shania Twain says she wants to wear leopard print, I mean, we were just like so, th so thrilled. <laughs> I love leopard print. I, it's it's my basic. It's it's like just something that is a, a, a fit for me. It's funny because, uh, you know, there's been this resurgence, I suppose, of drive-in movie theater experiences for people because it's kind of like, you know, the only way we can go to the movies or, you know, some people are doing drive-in shows and things like that. And so it worked out quite well because uh, everyone was kind of in their little groups and their cars still socially distanced. So, you know, it was like kind of a little of the time, but it also felt, you know, like safe. All right, there's some more uh, interesting cameos coming up now that we start showing. That lady in the green car, that's actually Jada Essence Hall, who is the current reigning winner of RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, big fan and friend. Uh, and we were so excited and lucky to have her. And next to her actually is another pretty well-known drag queen out of drag. Uh, and her name is Miss Toto. I mean, the video is called Legends Never Die, so we wanted to like stack it full of legends. You know? Most of the videos I've done in the past, we had to make them out of like nothing, no budget. So for the first time in my life, having like, like a major label budget, I think we kind of were just like, all right, that's it. Like, let's go all out. <laughs> I mean, I got to ride a motorcycle with Shania Twain on the back. I mean, I don't know, like, like is there anything else I can do in life? I'm gonna have to like try and plan a trip to the moon or something, I don't know. Nothing's gonna excite me anymore. I've really overdone it now. You know, I've kind of, there's just nothing left. <laughs> he was driving the motorcycle. It was cool though, right? I think it's great to do the unexpected. And I, and I also appreciate, you know, new artists that are doing things that are true to themselves and, and stepping out and being original. I applaud it.